so I thought, you know what, I'll just stick to my bike. And I rode that, I loved it. Fucking hella dead bike. For lies. For lies. But check this out though. And then just a week later, I'm on my bike again. Hi, B boy. Like, dead room. Fuck works anyway. Dead adventure. Never. Because you smile. It doesn't help. Because I want them to think I'm a bad man. Totally agree, dude. Cycling is the way Dangerous, forward. obviously, but then let's get Hey guys, notice anything different? Black shine over here, and a bit of a scar here, if you can see it, that redness. Anyway, fell off ABMX um, about a week ago. Hold up, before I let you see my shameful fall, let me just explain or rewind. So I'm sure you're all well aware of the recent lockdown measures. Only allowed to go out for essential shopping and picking up medicine and an hour exercise the perfect amount of time for a bike ride. And of course, most people can't stand staying indoors too long, so everyone got swept up in this bike hype and we weren't gonna miss out. So here we are. Hey, oh, I'm freely, I like riding bikes because it keeps me healthy and it protects the ozone layer. Planet Earth. One thing you can do during uh, quarantine is get on your bike, mate. Go on, get on your bike. It's pretty lit. No, 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 hold it. How did it all begin? Bikes. So it all kind of begins, obviously, with Corona and all that shit. We had an old housemate who had his old shitty bike that he left there. So Boogie fixes it up and he goes on a bike ride with Freely and Jasper, innit? All right, bro. Where are we at now? We're currently in Harfenden on the common, a world away from Newton. Look at it. It's beautiful. What are you saying, man? Damn, bro. I've been called everything but my actual name. Originally, I think it was Ronnie, and then it went to Ron, and then Ron Dog. Well, he's on, he's John Boyega. Had bike fever in the summer, right? It just comes over you, honestly. And now this year, when you guys uh, well, got your bikes, we took these ones out in March, didn't we? Yeah, before yeah, my driving yeah, test, yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was when we came here. <laughs> that was a great trip, to be fair. That was the first one, innit? It was nice to see you guys. So I go cycling and I'll buy a bike. Look at that bar alone, bro. Obviously, it was a piece of shit. It cost me 150. Yeah, we went to half and then, innit? And my car, my tires were fucked. I told these man, like, yo, getting rid of this bike, selling it. It's literally, like, I think, next day. Look what man got me. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Whoop. I was back with that frame with a bunch of bits. I was like, yo, with these bits and this frame, I can build you a bike, bro. Oh, there. I've literally built this. So there's a frame, forks, and wheels, and we had to just put it all together. Where do you get all this experience? To, to build all these bikes? Uh, well, I've been biking ever since I was a kid, like most people, but I never stopped. Most people like got cars, moved on from it. So I just thought, you know what? I'll just stick to my bike and something will go wrong with it and I'll just replace the parts. So I ended up having to learn how to fix my bike. So that's why we're here because this is more my style. I like jumping around being stupid, being a kid. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. I don't know why it's so funny about it's that. It's because you smile. It doesn't help. I'm just gonna do it. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Are you gonna ask me a question? Who was it like biking with us? The first time. Yeah, the first time. Bear hyped for it. I was really excited. And then it got to the point where we reached Harpenden. And I was like, I have enough, but you know, I'm not gonna give up because I want them to think I'm a bad man, innit? First bike ride adventure. Global, Mandem, plus Maya, one extra. I hate the first time. Wasn't my bike, missing my bike. But yeah. Go on, M to the A to the C interview, SG. St. Albans and Bridgewater bike rides, uh, kind of dead. And basically, a few days later, we like, yeah, let's do a walk adventure now. But since uh, Bridgewater Monument was closing, we thought, you know what? Let's take a bike halfway, uh, halfway there and then walk the rest of the way. Guess what happened? We rode a bike all the way through there. Another uphill battle. Is he gonna say his famous catchphrase? Fuck bikes. Yeah, there you go, fuck bikes. But well, it opened my eyes, not gonna lie. After experiencing the St. Albans and then the Bridgewater Monument on a bike, I realized that never, never, if you're new here, you may not know that we've been going on adventures with just our legs for a couple years now.
Some would say that doing this would be a replacement for walking. No, I wouldn't say that. Definitely not. Fuck no. It's just, it's two different things. Apples and oranges, really. I don't think it's gonna replace it. It's a very different thing, you know. Remember to show who you are. Yeah, yeah, show who you are, bro. Yeah. Yeah. That's a problem. I think we should still keep walking because that's like how Sanctuary Global started from when I came in. I think the biking adventures would never replace the walking adventures. I'd say w walking should still be, it should be a side by side. No weather stops a true adventurer. You know, you know. But on a bike, it's like, you know, you're over one hill and then you're down another and you might not pedal for like five minutes. And it's, the adventures are very different things. One's an adventure, one's a bike ride. Might not work. What do you want me to do? Give me a paper towel, bro, a tissue oh, or something. Oh, I'm so glad you're you guys feel like it? Yeah, right? Into the, the melon! This is the melon Let's bit, bro. Crack open the melon! Let's crack open the melon! Send me a paper towel, bro! We've basically gone to these places that we've been on adventure and it's like mad flashbacks, like going to these same places again, but on the bike. Nice, just like a different flavor. I personally think if it's walking, biking, or anything else, it doesn't matter, it's all just an adventure. So, we got all our bikes, we're all gassed. How did we get from that bit to just be falling on his fucking head? Describe your experience at the Wigmore skate park, right, right here uh, where we are. It's been pretty good to be honest. I haven't come off it, I've never hurt myself, I've always been pretty safe on here. Well, I've fallen off, but. As you can hear, this load of noise, it's got a bit of wobble to the ramp, so every time you fall off it, you don't really hurt yourself unless you land directly on your face. Spoiler alert, that's pretty much where I got all my experiences, this place, this is the setting where it all began. Yeah, yeah, I gave him an old diamond back, yeah, I gave him a BMX. Um, basically, I bought two BMXs at the same time for £60, pounds, so £30 pound of BMX. Oh, yeah. And I see Matchek borrowed it a couple of times, and I just thought, he's the perfect candidate. And, I, okay. and then Boogie's like, you know what? Keep it, it's free, take it. <coughs> and that's how I have the bike. Very much appreciated Boogie over there. Little did I know that it's a cursed bike, but it's fine. Cursed bikes are fine, isn't it? Front tyre in a, in a tube, three times fucked up. Three times nowhere. Crank. Mo moving again, bruv. You Look at that. See that? All in all, let me see if it works. Wait. Quick test right here. Let me let me follow it. The close up is out. Right here. And danceable. What, what do you say about that? Oh, scary. Because these are fairly small ramps. When you go to danceable, you're adding at least this height, and then it's a bowl, and it's made out of concrete. To be honest, I was quite scared. I've only ever done like the ver the ramps. I weren't really too ready for it. I'm going in new. Even now, if I jumped on it now, it's a bit a bit spooky. <laughs> Works. There's a big ditch over there, and I'm just about to jump it. Works. Almost fell over, but it is what it is. So that's that, you know, bike is cursed, but so am I, so. In the second bike ride, I don't know if you want to ask me a question about it. Dirt track? Yeah, the dirt track. What was that, sir? Gully. Where is this dirt Sick. track? It's in Lee Grave, right next to Macroid Humble Abode. Awesome. Yeah, oh, this. Oh, this? This is what your bike's made for, dude. Do you want to move out of the way? Going 360, I'll be always in the way. Pretty cool, loved it there. I ain't going far distance, I don't like bikes. But then I realized there's a dirt track right next to my yard. On a bike, I live five minutes from here. So I thought oh, I can still enjoy the bikes in the local area, and hence I started enjoying it. Got a nice BMX, practice my, uh, my bunny hop, my silver surfer move I'm practicing as well. It's really nice to like go up and down everything, you know, do tricks. We tried making our own little path. I don't think there was any casualties. I knew you were gonna fall over. Fall over. Check that out, bro. It's not about the far distance, it's about local, you know? Local thing. If I wanna go far distance, I use these. Legs these, yeah. 
This is my transport rav. See that? While the dirt track we found was a great beginner track, there's a whole host of official bike parks waiting for us to explore. And we were just itching to discover the more extreme side of biking. And at Chick Sands Bike Park, we found it. But only one of us went. Boogie on missions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. doing a side quest. Yeah, Boogie's going mad today. Going to Chick Sands Bike Park. Uh, the Chick Sands Bike Park, in short, was brilliant. Seen that chicks in the background? It looks like so has some slopes and stuff. It looks like you don't have to ride far in that, you know? It's a local lap. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I like racing. Who, who did you go with? Oh, yeah, Dave, Ben, um, Rob, who else did you go with? Luke, and then myself. That was it. Yeah. We had a really, really good time. Thanks, man. Good point. just fun it's like a roller coaster that can come off the tracks at any minute you're the one driving it and you're going up banks you're jumping off ledges just high speed all the time you barely have to use your brakes only a little bit before you make a turn some people don't bad <laughs> <laughs> but I scuffed myself, I've done a lot of scratches, you can see my hand here, my elbow. My shoulder's probably the worst where I landed on my shoulder. You got up again though? I got straight back up yeah. again. Yeah, yeah, straight up, I was alright. It was all cosmetic really. I think eventually I want to get all you boys on it. And yeah, we will have a really good time there. That's the end goal. Okay. There you go. How is your recovery? Like it was only the first two days that were really like fucked up. Kakashi-san. Oh yeah, we didn't do a bit. Day one. Day one. Jesus Christ. I wear a helmet. I'm getting my ug upside. <laughs> ug upside. <laughs> like, my, my eye was super bad. My, like, I couldn't even properly see out of it. Like, there's no point. Dead. Fucking killed. And then just a week later, I was on my bike again. <laughs> like, it was nice. Yeah, my vision gone. Like, no, was it at the time? Yeah, it was kind of like, and it hurt. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you look good. It's, good yeah. it's pretty mad, don't it? Yeah. Day three. Day three. And now you don't have half an eyebrow. Yeah, I missed. Miss I, I didn't even realise. Yeah, no, it's actually quite a joke, isn't it? And but then. Is it, do you think it's going to grow back? No, nah, it's going to stay like that forever. Is that what you said? Yeah, yeah. Pretty much a slot. No joke. No joke, bro. That's kind of gully. Yeah, it's kind of gully, but it's kind of also a bit lame at the same time. I mean, yeah. And it wasn't even like, oh, did you do a cool trick or something? Nah, nah, nah. I, I was trying to go into the fucking ball and I didn't even come out. Like, I came out knocked out. So that's not cool. Ooh. You alright? Why is bleeding? Tissue on you. No, 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 my bag, my bag. There's uh, plasters in the, in the Hello, where, did just, hit, just, where did you hit his, did you hit his head? Yeah, yeah, just bring uh, me my bag, you know. Just, just grab a tissue or... Hello. Yes, he's breathing, he's breathing. He's sitting up, but he's not responding. Yeah, he's awake. <laughs> <laughs> this your bag? And dog through skate park. He's smashed his face like, really hard at the concrete. He's like, his eyes all open up. You can see like an open gap at the moment. Be a gloomy one. Terrible. Terrifying. Yeah, we're on our way to pick up the Butu concussed. Injured. Injured. Yeah. Always wear a helmet. Always. Always. Yes, and act swiftly. Yeah, he's coming up. Always wear a helmet. 
Always wear a helmet. That's Always. Actually... Safety fucking first. Fucking okay. helmet. Mash up. Mash up. <laughs> Will everyone have watched that uh, accident already? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you seen that, yeah? yeah? All right. At the Grove uh, Skate Park, here again, the scene of the fucking crime. I should have read this to be fair. Safety equipment must be worn at all fucking yeah, did times. You, you not wear, you I did not wear a helmet. I did not wear a helmet. It is a blur. The adrenaline just numbed me. It was, it was weird. Like, for ages later, someone asked me questions, I was like, huh? And I was like, I was just thinking about the accident. So. Obviously, man wasn't all there, so he doesn't know shit. As soon as he paused the video in the edit where he's falling down, he don't even remember that. It's literally, it's this other bit, this bowl. For advanced players only. And I thought, yeah, me being a fucking literal amateur, nobody, can't do shit. Can't you lift my bike, bruv? And I decided to do this yeah. shit. Basically, the day started, we're gonna go to uh, Dunstable uh, Skate Park. And then, 10 minutes before I leave, no, five minutes before I leave, I was literally gonna leave. Buyer calls me, and he's like, you know what? Don't come no more, innit? Because Jasper fucked himself up. I'm like, hmm, interesting. So, on the day, pretty mad, I fell here, going down this bit, caught the back wheel here. I was trying to put my arms out to stop myself. Couldn't do it in time. Smash my face in. And then that's it, lights out. Uh, and then Boogie's just like, um, I think he's kind of fucked. He's, he's bleeding and he's still not moving. So Boogie jumps down and he's, we see that there's blood on your head. I jump down and then it's like panic mode. It's like, okay, serious shit. No more recording. Well, oh. you jumped right in, bro. For myself? Yeah. Yeah, because I've got the experience. You know? when you went down there, uh, you wasn't prepared for that. I tried to give you the knowledge I could, but a lot of it is just train, you know, you, you learn on the job. Basically apply, apply the t-shirt to where the blood was and hold, held the pressure in it. So as soon as I started doing that and me and Boogie got him up, he started regaining consciousness. Where the fuck am I? How the fuck did this happen? Yeah, you were, you were going in it. So I said, we're at the uh, Dunstall Skate Park. You fell on Boogie's bike. That was the first time I told you. Wouldn't be the last either. Pictures come, video come, man. Mashed face, bruv. I'm like, raw. Man, I was like, yo, man's barely conscious, like speaking to the, speaking the same thing. It was scary. Very, very scary. We're there. Boogie's called the ambulance. And we're waiting and it's pissing down now. So we need to get out of the rain. So we go over there and you're speaking utter fucking bullshit at this point. We're having a nice brotherly moment there and you keep repeating yourself like a goddamn crazy person. It's like, what the fuck, man? So the ambulance comes, it's just parked up over there. Get him into the ambulance. But no, yeah, dangerous, obviously, but then, you know, you play with fire, you get burnt. It's a bloody skate park, isn't it? Like, I, I don't, that's what I don't F with those things. Uh, we were like, yo, instead of me telling you what happened, I can literally show you where he fell, what exactly happened. Showed them, they cracked up, and there you are in the back of the ambulance, fucking gassing, like, oh my God, sank video. <laughs> They took you away and then uh, we biked back. I thought, man, he's not gonna do bikes anymore. So I was kind of gassed like, oh, maybe because he mashed his face <laughs> up. Now maybe he doesn't want to go on more bike rides. <laughs> but the man's still on it. Get his call from Jasper. And he's just straight to business. I was like, why is Jasper called? He doesn't often call me. He was like, yo, here's the, here's the story. I was like, woo, of course I'll come. Then I just set off. Right, okay. But your eye looks cool now. I hope you've got photos of it, man. He looks like a superhero character or something. He looks awesome. <laughs> Did it affect you, my, my acting? Like, in terms of your confidence? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, it did affect me. Especially at Dunstable. Every single time I, I drop in, I'm thinking about it. Like, making sure I do it properly. And I don't know if that's good or bad, because it was a little bit like I put no thought in it before. Whereas now, I'm really conscious before I do it. Especially since like, I'm here now and I haven't got a helmet. We need to get helmets. After I actually went to that Dunstable skate park, I was careful as fuck, bro. Trust. I was slowly tilted the ball. You can see clips there. But I was careful. I wanted to descend down the ball, but based on other people's mistakes, Jasper, I managed to avoid it myself. <laughs> you get me? <laughs> That's how I do it, isn't it? Right. Well, yeah, it's a pretty lit place. Kind of wish I bought a fucking helmet because then it would have been all right. Beautiful biking, I don't know. 
such a layered question, so many things. Um, it it's <laughs> cheap, it's fun, it's free, yeah, it's free. Actually, free is probably the best one, yeah, it's nice to come on bike rides. Our big hills, secret big hills you didn't know about, but no, yeah, it's probably why I like to ride a bike. Very freeing in the summer, and it is a cheap way to keep in shape as well. Save Mother Earth. <laughs> oh, on, on that first few rides, you know, even with that piece of shit, fucking hella dead bike, coming down into half and then down a hill bit, like, fucking just I felt it bro I was like yes bro this is, this is lit this bike is just giving me nothing but trouble but this part when you're flying when you're coming down hills that's it that's what I do for me it's kind of that freeing feeling bro Ooh, it's the freedom being able to just get on it and it's very solitary like you don't have to involve yourself with anyone when you put most people like you guys you put he headphones in if I want a Pepsi at night, it's not a 40 minute journey anymore. You get me? It's a six minute journey. And that's what I appreciate. We need more bikes and less cars, honestly. Yeah, more, I'm probably biased. Listen, I recently passed my driving test and you'll never see me in a fucking car. I hate them. They're bad, they're killing the planet Earth, man. They are bullshit. Really, everybody would benefit from having a bike, unless you live on a mountain or something. But... Watch my tricks come and develop. I want to appear in many of those bike videos, but when I do, oof. You get on that bike and the rest of the world doesn't matter. You know, your job doesn't matter. All you have to do is live in the moment, which is just... Sick. Oh. Oh. Not good. That was close, that, that one. That was close. Do you want to see another accident? We got that all on camera. I, what I want you guys to take away from this video is to go out and get some exercise, whether that be on a bike or just walking. Considering the theme of what's happened to both of us, me falling off and you falling off, I feel like people, the safety, be careful, wear a lid. You might think, hey, this might be for you. Come down in. It is fucking cool as fuck though. Like, I really want to get some footage of them uh, scooter kids or them fucking skateboarders literally gliding, like gliding, bruv, like. Imagine. It's a world that I've never, never really been introduced to. If you're going to watch this video, I hope you go away and probably buy a bike and have a blast as well. Whether you want to go out for long rides, just on a cycle path, or whether you just like stuff like this, the skate parks and the dirt tracks, either way, or even you don't even like bikes, you just want to go for a walk. Either way, go the fuck outside. Explore, find something new, do something different. The idea of, of challenging yourself, do something.